If we knew that you was an Israelite, we probably wouldn't even give you the fly. You already on this side. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't on this side yet. You you have to start keeping. You're not keeping the commandments yet. That's the side. That's keeping the commandments. My Sabbath day is not today. Huh? My Sabbath day is not today. Your Sabbath day is not today. But are you supposed to be following what you supposed to do? Or are you supposed to be following what God's? Supposed to do? I'm finding the best information that I have for the Sabbath day. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men to stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's going to rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this truth. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready. We're coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel, united in Christ, is a non violent, Bible based movement. IUIC. Since slavery, we have a misunderstanding of what the Bible is actually talking about, right? But we're going to show you what is the purpose of this Bible. This Bible is not a worldly book or universal book. This Bible was created for and by the Israelites, which are the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. This Holy Bible was taken and stripped from the hands of the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. And we're gonna prove that using the Bible, right? Get Deuteronomy chapter one, verse one. Let's show you who Moses is speaking to. Let's show you who are the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So the Bible says these are the words which Moses spake to the children of Israel. All you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians by descent, you have lost your true nationality according to the Bible. That's right. So because you have lost your true nationality, now you walk up and down these streets in Columbia, South Carolina, doing everything you want to do, when God commanded that on the Sabbath day, which is Saturday, you're not supposed to be buying and selling. My brother right here. My brother right here. My brother right here. Let me ask you a quick question, because I heard you talking. So do you know that you're an Israelite according to the Bible? Of course, right? So what are you doing on God's Sabbath day today? What are you doing on God's Sabbath day? Or what are you supposed to be doing? You hear me? What, what are you supposed to be you doing on today? You say everybody's Sabbath day is not the same day? See, we don't went through this already. We did? Yeah, and, and the communication, you know. Uh huh. We're still learning. We're still learning. Okay, what on was that, it? On that Sabbath day thing. We so, know it's every seven days, right? Yes. Okay. So how is it? So how is everybody Sabbath day different? If it's according to the Bible, it's every Saturday. No. And it's not nothing hard to learn about the Sabbath day, right? Matter of fact, get Exodus twenty and eight. It's nothing hard to learn about the Sabbath day, right? And as black men, right, we can't we can't be. Matter of fact, get that Romans chapter thirteen verse eleven. We gotta touch that first. As black men, right. We, it's no longer, these times that we live in then is going to get worse and worse. Right. As black men, which are the tribe of Judah, the lead tribe of the nation of Israel, 
We can't be walking around here playing and doing everything else everybody else do. You got a whole nation to build up. Right. And the, all, and, and the majority I see out here is black, Hispanic, Native American women. They are not going to get right until the so-called blacks, the African Americans, the tribe of Judah, until we get right, then the rest of the nation is going to get right, according to prophecy. Right? right. Read that. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. You know? And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. So you heard what the Bible say? Now is the time to awake out of sleep. Now is the time to get up, stop playing around with this Bible, and actually start doing what it says. Right. Because our people are going to continue. You're going to continue to have a bunch of Kendrick Johnsons. Right. Right. Sonia Massey's, right. Tamir Rice, right. right? Eddie Gray, you're gonna continue to have these different type of issues. I guarantee you, in the next couple of months or next year, you're gonna have another killing of our people from the other nations. Right. You know? It's gonna continue to happen, why? Because we're on a time limit, but that time limit is continuing to be extended because we got brothers that continue to play around, not keeping the Sabbath day, right? not taking this thing serious. This ain't no time to be playing games no more. Right. We have to wake up and start keeping these commandments. Read it again. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's time to wake out of sleep. You say you are, you know you are Israelite. Right. Look at everybody out here today. You as an Israelite, how are people gonna know that you are Israelite if you walking around here like everybody else? You, you understand? Know? If we knew that you was an Israelite, we probably wouldn't even give you the fly. You're already on this side. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't on this side yet. You you have to start keeping, you're not keeping the commandments yet. That's the side. That's right. Keeping the commandments. Right. You have to start keeping the laws now. Right. Right now, you 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 on both sides. You you might fight, you on the side, but you halfway on the side. What is that, Luke? Yeah, yeah lukewarm, lukewarm. Revelation. 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 That's 315. The, 315. Get Revelation 315. You on the side halfway, but this is what Christ say when you're on both sides. You halfway in the truth because you know you're an Israelite according to the Bible. You know you're supposed to keep in the commandments. But you're on the other side, which is the world. You still out here on the Sabbath day doing everything everybody else do. Right. Read this. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 15. Bring it out. I, now, you, I saw you say you were just walking down the street, right? Oh, so you on both sides. I'm on this side. I'm on this side. So you say you're going to the store, right? I know what side I'm on. What are you going to the store to do? Get some? Yeah. All right, watch this. All right, hang tight. Bring it on. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. Christ said, I know your works. Right. You not cold or you hot. You not out in the world. Fully out in the world or fully in this truth, in this Bible, keeping the commandments, right? Go ahead. I would, thou were cold or hot. Christ said, I'd rather you just stop playing around. Either you're going to be out in the world, smoke, drink, break the Sabbath day with all these vendors, buying, selling, cooking, break the commandments of God, or you fully be in this truth and you on this side with us teaching against breaking God's commandments. Right. Right, go ahead. So then, because thou art lukewarm, because you lukewarm, you a little, you a little bit out in the world, you a little bit in the truth, you know something a little bit here and there, but you ain't fully keeping the commandments repenting. Go ahead. And neither cold nor hot, uh -huh. I will spew thee out of my mouth. Well, what Christ say you gonna do? I will spew thee out of my mouth. Go ahead. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods. Right. Because you lukewarm, Christ said he's going to spit you out his mouth. You know what that means? That means he's going to put you to death. You're not going to get the kingdom of heaven. You're still going to walk around here doing everything everybody else is going to do. Continue to go to the Sabbath day and break it and buy something on the Sabbath day, which is breaking the commandments. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh, get this real fast. Exodus, I mean, excuse me, Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. Because you say you're going to the store. You say you know a little bit about the Sabbath, all like that, right? 
But let's see how you keep the Sabbath day. It ain't hard to learn. Right. Read that. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Look it out. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So if anybody bring wear, this is the time of Nehemiah. I'm right. showing you everything happens again in the world. Right? These things is written for our learning. Right. Read it again. And if the people of the land. So if the people of the land, that's anybody of the United States of America, in Columbia, South Carolina, if this land, go ahead. Bring where or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So if anybody bring any clothes, any food on the Sabbath day, which is Saturday, to sell to you, like every single vendor out here, go ahead. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So what are we now supposed to do on the Sabbath day? That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So we're not supposed to be buying, selling on the Sabbath. Yes. All this is breaking God's Sabbath day. Right. But I guarantee you 100% of people out here say I'm Christian, I believe in God. But none of them are keeping the Sabbath day. That's why you can't be out here like everybody else. You can't go to the store and buy nothing. You're supposed to do that early in the week or yesterday. That's why. All right, come down. I'm gonna come down to the field. Come, come to the school. My Sabbath day is not today. Huh? My Sabbath day is not today. Your Sabbath day is not today. But are you supposed to be following what you supposed to do? Or are you supposed to be following what God's supposed to do? I'm following the best information that I have for the Sabbath day. The best information is the Bible. We just read that, right? My sisters, how y'all doing today? Y'all doing all right? Doing wonderful. What, what, what we're going over is showing our people who we are according to the Bible, right? We're showing our people that we are the 12 tribes of Israel. Have y'all ever heard that before? You have heard that before, right? So, how, how long have you heard that? About 10 years. I said 10 years? Now, watch this. Y'all have learned for about 10, 20 years, right? Now, as Israelites, what are you supposed to do? Because that's a long time. What, what, what does it mean to be an Israelite? Let me ask that. Y'all heard me? What does it mean to be an Israelite? You can't tell me that? What you say, sis? You don't know? Okay, so y'all have just heard that y'all Israelites, basically, right? Well, as the Israelites, we're supposed to be keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. Let me ask you, did you do y'all know why we went into slavery? Let's start right there. Because y'all may have heard y'all Israelites, but y'all haven't got the grassroots understanding about being an Israelite, right? So, so what, what, so how do we get in the situation we're in now? How do we get into slavery? We was born into it, right? We're not, we wasn't really born into it, but how do we, eat, eat, as a race of people, end up in slavery? That's the question. You don't know? Okay, so. Okay, so that lets me know y'all don't know. So the reason that y'all do not know shows me that y'all don't un quite understand that y'all are Israelites. Right. Let me show you. Get Deuteronomy chapter 28 or 29 verse 1. Watch this. Watch this. So right here, right? These are the 12 tribes of Israel. Watch this. Deuteronomy 29 verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. So let's see what Moses, the covenant Moses made with the children of Israel. Jump to chapter 28, verse 15. This is going to prove that y'all are the Israelites. Just listen. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So Moses told the 12 tribes of Israel, if y'all don't listen to God's commandments, go ahead. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So let's read a curse that's going to come on the Israelites. I'm showing y'all that y'all are the Israelites. Because, watch this, if y'all continue to continue to walk around here doing the same thing everybody else doing, knowing that y'all Israelites, there's a judgment for it. I see y'all creeping away, right? Watch this. Okay. Well, let's get the creeping away in the Bible. Get Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. It but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments, uh -huh. 
and his statutes which I command thee this day. So how do our people do not observe or reject God's commandments? Get, hold that, get Zechariah chapter 7 verse 11. My sister right here. Sis. Sis. How you doing, sis? You doing all right? Good. Let me ask you a quick question. What is your nationality? What is your nationality? American. Huh? American. American? Okay, that's your status as American, right? There's no race called American. That's the status. What I'm asking you is, what is what is your race? Black. Black, right? Okay, good, good. So watch this. According to the Bible, can you find the race of black in the Bible? You don't know, right? Nobody ever asked you that question, right? Watch this. You can't find the race of black people in the Bible, but God don't call us black in the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? He called us a different name. Watch this. Look, come look at this sign right here. You see this sign? It's the 12 tribes of Israel. According to America, we're called blacks. But in the Bible, God calls us Judah. You understand what I'm saying? Let me show you that. Get Jeremiah 14 and 2. Hold those though, but get Jeremiah 14 and 2. Let me ask y'all, what, what is your race? Black, right? Now watch this. I'm going to show y'all, right? God don't call us black in the Bible. He calls us Judah, right? Watch this. Jeremiah 14 and 2. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah, morning. Now you hear that? Judah is in mourning, right? Let me ask y'all, family right Let me ask everybody. What people on the earth is always mourning? Y'all know what mourning means? Crying, lamenting, right? Going through pain, trials, suffering. What people, let's, let's deal with nations, race, right? What people are always mourning? Black people, right? Would y'all agree? Would you agree, sis? Right. We got uh, our sister that just got shot in the face by a police officer, Sonia Ma Massey, right? What, what are people end up doing? We cry for that, right? We in pain for that. Now, do you see white people getting killed by police or other nations like that? They are, but we never show it. Right, I'm talking about like uh, uh, racial injustice, basically, right? No, that don't happen. Do you see Chinese people on the uh, internet getting killed by other races, marching forward and stuff. Only blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That happened to us, right? So watch this, read it again. Judah, morning. So it says, look at the flyer, all right? Judah is in mourning. This sign right here, right? These are the 12 tribes of Israel. Judah, right, which is short for Jew, is in mourning. So the Jews, according to the Bible, is always in mourning, right? right. Suffering. Now watch this. The white people that's in the land of Israel today, which call themselves Jewish, are they in a state of mourning as a race of people? No, they're not, right? Hey, they got military power to bomb Gaza in the uh, uh, Arab countries, right? They got a whole military force. They got a whole base, right? A, a dome to ward off uh, missiles. Right. They own a whole banking system. Now, heck, they own a whole banking system. They own all the TV stations. They own all this stuff, right? So they're not in mourning. But the blacks are in mourning. Go ahead. Judah, mourning, and the gates thereof language. A gate is supposed to protect your house, right? So what are the gates of the nation, the people of Judah? What are, who is supposed to be protecting the so-called blacks? Who? That's a good question, right? Who do y'all think is supposed to protect or lead or guide the so-called blacks? Who? So the people that are supposed to be doing that are the leaders, right? But if you look at the black community, what leaders do we have besides the uh, civil rights movement? Black Panthers, those were leaders that rose up, right? You got Martin Luther King, that's the leader that rose up. Marcus Garvey, uh, Dingmark Vesey, who else? Uh, Malcolm X, those are blacks. I'm just talking about the American blacks for general, which are the tribe of Judah in the Bible. We're proving that. Those are the leaders that rose up. Now you look at today, 2024, what are, I'm talking about real black leaders. There's none, right? Y'all will agree? Anybody? Y'all agree, right? So. There's no black leaders. So it, that's what the Bible says what? Read it again. Judah, morning, and the gates thereof language. The gates, the leaders of the tribe of Judah are lacking, right? 
Your only leaders, heck, matter of fact, I saw this. Kevin Hart. Peep Kevin Hart said, uh, I think in an interview, he said, oh no, he said in a, 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 a comedy that he did, a stand-up comedy. Kevin Hart said, people always come to him and say, well, what about this that happened to this person? What about this, right? Are you going to stand up for us, right? Kevin Hart said, shoot, I, I, hey, people be coming to me with that. I ain't no leader. I'm not a, uh, uh, what do you say? I'm not a, a civil rights activist, right? Dang. But but our people look for comedians to be leaders, right? They try to uh, segue their uh, 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 comedy sketch into dealing with real matters, right? But our matters ain't no joke. You got uh, professional athletes, right? Whenever any one of them try to stand up, they get pushed back down by the people that they got to work for, right? Like, for example, Kyrie Irving. I'll talk about Kyrie Irving for a second. Kyrie Irving didn't even say it, but he just posted a movie called Hebrews to Negroes to show that us as so-called blacks, we are actually Israelites, according to the Bible Hebrews, but we became Negroes, right? He just posted that on his social media, and they they find him, right? They, yeah, they, he got a bunch of backlash. You got, uh, what do you call it? Um, who else? Uh, uh, Nick Cannon, who else? Give me some more people. Ice Cube, all of them tried to say that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. We are the real Jews. And what did America do? They shown them, right? And they probably did more than that. They probably went in their personal life. All right, if you do that, I'm gonna kill your daughter. If you do that, I'm telling you what's actually happening, right? To cause somebody to not say what the actual race is, you understand what I'm saying? So our leaders are lacking. Go ahead. Judah mourneth, uh -huh. and the gates thereof languish. Uh -huh. They are black. Hold on. What color are the Jews? They are black. No, they're white. They are black uh -huh. unto the ground. Hold on now. The Holy Bible that everybody got in a church, the Holy Bible that Grandma and them got on the uh, on the baseboard collecting dust. Got what does the Bible say? They are black uh -huh. unto the ground. God says the real Jews are black. That's right. That's what the Bible says. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. is you.